Hey guys, Shreya on this side and today we will do a small discussion on AMQ and bad jobs. So very important whether you know or if you even if you don't know, once you start working, you will definitely have to work on AMQ or bats. Both are very important. So let's start without wasting any time. Like what is the difference between them? Right. And then we'll see like where actually they are used. So let's start with the batch job. So as the name say batch means ikhatta karna right in a batch. So whenever you have to perform some operation in bulk, right? That's where batch jobs comes into the picture. For example, take a use case that okay, from morning to night, I am accumulating things, and at night 11 p.m. I have to initiate the batch. And it will process all whatever the task is spending from morning to night, right? And one good example is your bank NEFT. When you transfer the money, you will see that if you transfer at 11:35, now then in your bank it will come at 12. So after every half an hour, the batch runs, right? So it is keep on accumulating for what all user it has to transfer money. It not do instantly as soon as you say that hey transfer money it not do instantly it will keep on accumulating and after a particular time a batch runs which process all those tasks in a bulk so that's where the batch job comes into the picture help to perform things in bulk so there are two types of uh, batch jobs one is on demand and another is scheduled on demand is something which like required uh, engineer intervention like hey i come and then I click set run. So now generally uh, on demand is used when say that you have to correct the DB. There is some uh, mistake happen into the DB uh, because of latest code changes and you have to correct the DB. And what you will do, let's say you have list down all the users like, okay, these are all the users. I have to correct the DB for them. Now you take a file feed it to your batch and then say that start and now that that the job which you have written that will consume that file and whatever the job which you have written right a specific job that operation will work like if you want to update certain field it will go ahead and update it so it's like on demand when you are saying that now run another is scheduled Another schedule is like I have already given you an example running at a specific time or day, right? Like NEFT, I have given you one example. So schedules is like generally we have like cron jobs, right? Uh, uh, there are something called cron jobs and also at the rate schedule if you are using a spring annotation. So at the rate schedule, I think is the annotation and otherwise there is a cron jobs where you can specify the time, minute, right? And the day all these things uh, you can define when exactly this job has to run automatically okay so both both on demand jobs and scheduled job both are very very frequently used in day to day jobs okay so this is one simple uh, xml file of a job which you write so here if you see that uh, see i have so there is a already a spring boot playlist going on in the concept encoding right i will cover spring batch in depth but for now, just for discussion purpose, I'm just saying that there is uh, when you have to write a batch, what generally happen is you give an ID of a batch. So let's say I've given an ID, let's say update user job, right? So this job is I'm writing that it has to update a user. Okay. And then in this, we can provide multiple steps like step one, step two, step three, each step corresponding to a particular operation or you can say that particular class in that class you can do particular operation let's say step one is that hey read the file or download the file okay step two says that process once you have read the file now start working on it whatever the whatever the class it has to uh, invoke you have written some business logic what it has to do it will do step three hey let's say that i okay whatever the output comes where i have to upload it okay or what i have to show to the user so 
so this is just like an example step one step two step three step four you can add as many step for a particular bad job right and you can write as many as uh, different xml file so for each batch you can have to have one xml file and that one xml file uh, contains one batch job and all the steps involved for that batch okay so batch job is clear right on demand schedule both and a very very basic xml what actually it includes uh, each xml includes multiple steps for a particular batch job okay now amq a very important uh, active messaging queue uh, so it used to send message between different application asynchronously okay i will tell you but just consider that two parties they have to communicate but they don't they don't need to communicate sync real time so that's where the amq comes into the picture so here here if you see kafka is a very popular uh, one of the amq messaging queue uh, and i have already covered in depth uh, so here just a very very simple thing we have a producer producer is producing a message so there is a topic a let's say inside that topic there are multiple partition so this message goes into one of the partition so once the message goes to a particular partition there is a consumer which has subscribed to a particular partition right so once the message is available to a particular partition the message would be read by consumer understand the difference as soon as message is available consumer reads try to reads it it's not like batch it's not like even the let's say message is available it will keep on accumulating and only runs when required or at a particular time here you can say that as soon as message is available it try to process it right so that is one of the key difference between batch and amq okay so this is like a producer consumer and uh, if you know kafka if you haven't seen just check out the uh, uh, playlist uh, actually playlist i think it's there inside that so you will find uh, there so you will properly understand there what is topic what is partition or how is consumer group and how they subscribe and all but for now the what i wanted to say is that here the two applications one is producer one is consumer they are talking to each other asynchronously through a messaging queue so where exactly it uses so see two places amq use a lot first place doing post operation now let's say i am trying to add a user i have added it so i call an api add user and uh, user i have added now there are so many post operation which can be performed like i have to send a mail right so sending a mail can be uh, done via amq because asynchronously it can take even 10 minutes 5 minutes we don't know uh, or maybe i have to keep on retrying also so all these things it's a post operation user doesn't have to wait for me even there is minor delay it's okay so for such cases whenever you are trying to add a user that application will publish a message to a particular topic right and the particular consumer or we can say that always a demon which subscribe to a particular topic or partition will read the message and perform the task it has to send a mail so it will send it okay so this is the worst use case uh, first use case where it has to do some post operation second is that uh, event publishing now let's say that you have added a user you just publish to a particular partition or topic hey user has been added now there can be multiple consumers which are consuming it and it's like okay now i have got the message uh, user has been added what this is sending a mail this is doing something else this is uh, so each consumer is doing some different operation so event publishing that's what we call it as event publishing this term so you just publishing an event that hey i have added a user now those different different application whatever you have to do once the user is added you can do okay 
so that is also one of the purpose to let all the dependent uh, consumers or applications know that hey this event has occurred now you can start working on top of it so this is the difference in a simple term i would like to tell if there if you have different thought process or if you want to discuss uh, please uh, ping in the comment section we can discuss further